vertical slabs probably one of the most iconic features that was shown in the 2018 Hytale trailer and it's no surprise that anyone with a building born went ecstatic after seeing them that's because just the addition of that one block meant that the level of detail achievable in Hytale as a game is exponential when it comes to building well hello guys it's your favorite son of always mr passion here and welcome back to another video today we're doing something different because we're going to be breaking down the building potential of Hytale. to properly break down this conversation we shall discuss Hytale's building potential in two key aspects the block texture and the block palette this area of building is often overlooked because it really has nothing to do with the builder but has everything to do with the game Hytale's block texture resolution by default 64 pixels which allows for more detail at a single block level meaning even smaller builds will look insanely beautiful let me demonstrate my point in a similar game called minecraft i am not comparing the two and i'm not saying they're the same i just say they're a similar game i had to leave that disclaimer here's a small gazebo that i built in the default minecraftian texture which is about uh, 16 pixels in resolution now here is the same well with the high resolution texture pack applied you can see that the higher resolution helps with adding more detail without having to add extra blocks. To be fair, I used a, a texture pack that also takes away from the over sim overly simple detail in Minecraft traditionally, but it helps to prove my point as we see that Hytel isn't really shying away from detailed block textures. That said, textures are only about 20% of what makes a good build good, and therefore let's move on to the next major aspect of building. If I could use one statement to describe this, it would be the more blocks, the merrier. But it's not that simple. Having many blocks in a game doesn't guarantee a better building experience, but having many blocks done right does. A good example of this execution is in the recently launched Origin Realms, a Minecraft server that aims to rework how Minecraft multiplayer is with the inclusion of role-playing elements, just like Hytale. By adding a few extra blocks, they made building in Minecraft even more exciting, but not overwhelming. Okay, take for example. Birchwood does not only have planks, slabs and stairs, but also has vertical planks and carved wood, sorry, carved birchwood. And that's just an addition of two blocks in one wood type, but that already expands the way a creative builder would use these particular blocks. Case in point. If you are really a niche builder and like to go out and focus on a particular block palette for your build, the Birchwood category alone would have you covered. As I finalize, I'd like to talk about the block palette detail, particularly uh, the special blocks. This piggybacks off the previous point, uh, but this focuses more on the special blocks that Hytale has to offer. In the building blog post that was released, we are presented with a screenshot having quite a number of specialized blocks that may not feature traditional block style nature. Blocks like sideways slopes, uh, fences, medium sized logs, rocks and non-grid conforming blocks only mean that the detail for whatever style you are going for, whether medieval or cyberpunk, will surely be easily attainable. That is if you're creative enough anyways. But it goes without saying that though Hytale offers much potential for building, the real ability falls in the hands of he or she that holds and places the blocks and no detail of texture or width of block palette can make a bad builder good. So to all the audience that will be creating masterpieces once the game is out, remember practice makes perfect. Before I leave, I'm going to make it a point to shout out a Hytale YouTuber or content creator or artist in every video I make and today I'm shouting out Peep from the Peep channel. He makes some of the funniest title videos I've ever, I've ever watched and I would really love it if you guys do consider watching him. I will actually leave a, a, a card at the end of the video of one particular video that really made me laugh and it's about moss horns. You know I hate moss horns. <laughs> but that has been it from me. It's been your lost prince himself. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs>